let's look at some various forms of equilibrium. Now, equilibrium is when products and reactants have stopped changing in their macroscopic concentrations. So A and B and C and D macroscopically aren't changing. But of course, a and B is still making C and D, but every time it makes some C and D, some of that reacts back to form A and B. So macroscopically, there's no change in concentrations, but dynamically, the forward and reverse reactions are going on. It's just their rates are equivalent. So A and B forward, C and D reverse, equivalent rates, and equilibrium situation. You can have equilibrium in a lot of different conditions. For instance, a phase change equilibrium. Here's a physical process, water, liquid water, in equilibrium with water gas. Now, this doesn't have to be at the boiling point of water. There's always an equilibrium between liquid water and gaseous water. In this case, the equilibrium vapor pressure of water is just three hundredths of an atmosphere. So there's three hundredths of an atmosphere of water at 25 degrees C the equilibrium vapor pressure over the gas. You can also have a gas phase equilibrium. Here's NO2, a brown gas, in equilibrium with N2O4, a clear gas. That's happening here in this flask. N2O4 and NO2, brown, in equilibrium. Now, it's interesting to show equilibrium reactions because demonstration-wise, it's actually rather dull because in equilibrium, that's the idea. Nothing is changing anymore. Macroscopically, these all look very static. And that's what equilibrium is on the macroscopic scale, static. But on the microscopic scale, NO2 is still converting to N2O4, and N2O4 are breaking down into NO2, but they're doing it in equilibrium. Aqueous, here's an aqueous ionic reaction. This color intensity won't change because as the forward and reverse reactions occur, they balance each other out. You could also have heterogeneous equilibrium, a solid in equilibrium with its aqueous ions. So silver chloride in equilibrium with solid silver chloride, the ions in aqueous solution, AQ, in equilibrium with the solid. So as a little dissolves, a little of the ions precipitate. And that dynamic equilibrium exists. You can also have, here's yet another physical equilibrium, gas phase iodine in equilibrium with iodine crystals, the solid, a sublimation equilibrium. So various forms of equilibrium, all of them dynamic, but all of them from a macroscopic sense appear to be static. That's the nature of equilibrium.